What's up everybody, Matty back with another tutorial. This time we're going to go over how to have the radio uh, clicks and beeps in for TeamSpeak. So we'll just go ahead and show you what I'm talking about right off the bat. This should be a pretty quick one uh, for a tutorial. We're going to just Connected. go into a normal channel and then I'm going to go ahead and hit my TeamSpeak button. There you go, that I would use for push to talk. And when you hear it when I press it, that's the sound it makes. When I let go, it makes that sound. So anyway, uh, we're just going to go and close that and we'll show you how to do it real quick. So what you're going to do is first off, let's go to a browser. The link for this is below. It's just a link to a Google Drive I have set up. So it's in the description and you're going to download both of these files. We can just go ahead and do it. You see they're very, very small. It's going to tell me it's going to have a number on the end of it since I've already done this before. But you just come in here, download both of them. You're good to go. Uh, what you would then do is go to your downloads right here and you should see them so what we're gonna do is now go into TeamSpeak and we've already closed it just right click on the icon on your desktop and select open file location and then what we're gonna do is scroll to the top here where all the folders are we're gonna go into sound then into default and then if you're gonna see here we have the mic click off on it already comes with default ones in there so if you want to save these you can just back these up just simply click on both of them, drag them to your desktop or put them wherever you want. In this case, we don't care. We're replacing them. So we're going to go back to those downloads. We'll just go ahead and do it since we're here. Might click off, might click on. Let's just control C to copy those. We'll go right back to, again, that path, which will be in the description below as well. Paste. We're going to tell it replace the files. Yes. Okay, cool. So now we have to do a little bit of setup in TeamSpeak. So go ahead and open up your TeamSpeak. And then we're going to go to Tools and then options and then playback it's already there for us you've got your option here for own client plays mic clicks that's so it will make the noise when you talk if you want other people to do it you would check this box other clients play mic clicks i don't like it like that because it just becomes too hectic so i do it on my own simply hit ok once you're done and then you would just go back into a server that you're in Connected. and you can test it there you go so we have it that's all there is to it again link to the drive is in the description below as well as the path you've got to get to in TeamSpeak uh, to put the files in there that's all there is to it if you did enjoy it please don't forget to like subscribe and notify and y'all have a wonderful rest of your day bye